Was it by chance? Could it be by chance we were both on assignment that day, in the very same city down the exact same walkway, in the same office each a thousand miles from home, the capital of the state in the top of the dome, meeting the very same person at the exact same time, after seeking food in a restaurant in the exact same line. Later I didn't go back there because I don't smoke, but I still saw her at dinner on the little offshore boat. Each time we saw each other, our eyes would clearly meet. I remember thinking at the time, her gaze was certainly sweet. We both left the airport on the very same plane. That's when I took the chance to get to know her name. I found she lived in a small city where I've been all my life. Before I was finished that evening, I knew she would be my wife. Every grade all through school, my memory didn't keep safe the third grade promise I made to the girl with the little cute face. I said one day we'd live together to me she'd always cleave, and when she finally got off the plane I refused to let her leave. Much later on in the middle of a floor for dance, she told me her conviction, it never happened by chance. A rare quality. Ah, my lady. What passion stirred within thee, for the things of which you speak are the things of fairy tales, yet they are the very thing that animate the heart of every real man, every man who has embraced his role in this world with the natural passions of his birth, the man who would thrust aside such love and devotion as Lord in the dead, yet your heart saith not so, a rare quality of the hurt and the pains administered by one such as he, one that would shun everlasting love, one that would toss aside complete adoration, you still find hope. My lady, if I may be so bold, I would like for you to know that you should continue on in your grand exercise of fabulous ideas of passion. Only fools can look away forever. And if there be such fools, then I say without fear of contradiction that there will be wise one also. I say this because as a knight of a round table of love, I find thee to be a jewel glistening in the sun and waiting, waiting for the hand of a man, a hand that will put the wonderful edges and angles in your life and glory himself in the brightness of your shining. Princess, I'm at your disposal. For I know that you cannot stay for long in the place of the growing of thorns. My loins shake. I quiver at the thought of a loss such as his. I pray that never out of ignorance, force of arms, or fear of death, would anything coerce me to miss what you have, a quality for which a lowly knight would die to preserve. To live. To behold the night sky and see no end, while sitting between twigs with hair in the wind, knowing there are things to see and places to go, realizing it would be a tragedy to miss any glow. To behold the oceans and all they contain, never tiring because nothing's ever the same, with eyes ablaze and a wondrously pounding heart, as exciting in the end as it was at the start. Meeting someone special that fits you like a glove. Mind, body, and spirit, the completeness of love. To touch, to handle, to hold, and to kiss. Completely filling all senses with a lover's bliss. To look above and know there's much more. Things that, as of yet, are too high for me to adore. But free to look forward to glories to come when the task at hand are over and done. 911 and Yosef blessings. The blessings of God are upon us. Our enemies are always in a fuss. The birthright is given, not taken. Therefore, they will always be forsaken. The blessings of Joseph are upon us. The beauties of freedom away from fuss. The blessings of the heavens from above. From me come treasures of love. The powers that bind us in our ways was foretold of Joseph and the end of days. 
as vines over a wall many places he'd be planted and control of nations for good he'd be granted show him good and with good be flooded or show him bad and your house be blooded blessings will he be that bless thee and those that will not cursed will he be in return his duty is as a light to the world free in many people both boys and girls paying the price even giving his life so others can be at home husband and wife no doubt he has kept what peace we've had that few recognize him is simply too bad but in Egypt his brethren will soon know how sun moon and eleven stars did certainly bow in Egypt the whole family will suffer dread as scorn and troubles are heaped up on their head but out of strife will come happiness and fun because we will never forget 911 911 is only the beginning of troubles Joseph must suffer it for his own foibles that he will know where his power lies and return with glories of one that is wise the world will see and finally rejoice when one day they will hear his voice but now let's not fall into the hands of man but once again rid the world of an evil clan